Let's check for continuity at a point using the three-step continuity test. I'm Angie and I'm going to make this as easy as possible. We've got to start with our definition. So this function f of x is continuous at an x value or at a point x equals a iff. This means if and only if we've got three conditions that we need to satisfy. The first one is that f of a is defined. There's a point at this x value where we're analyzing continuity. We also need the limit to exist at a, not to have two different values, but to be the same left and right. And then finally, I need that point to be the same value as that limit. Let's dive into an example. So for this one, I've got a piecewise defined function and I wanna test for continuity at eight. Well, the very first thing that we've gotta do is to check to make sure that f of eight is defined. So my piecewise function says that if I am less than eight, I'll use a parenthesis there, f of x is equal to eight, but if I am at or greater than eight, so I'll use a square bracket, I'm gonna use the formula three X minus 16. So that means that F of eight is gonna use that second formula three times eight minus 16, that's gonna be 24 minus 16, and I get a value which means that it does exist. So I've got F of eight as being defined, Next, I wanna check that limit. In order for that limit to exist, I need the same value on the left of eight as I've got on the right-hand side of eight. So if I'm doing my limits now, the limit as x approaches eight, so let's go from the left of f of x. Well, anything from the left is going to be eight. So if I'm on the left of eight, I end up with the answer of Eight. To do the limit on the right hand side, so x approaches 8 from the right, this is going to be the second formula of that piecewise function. So from the right of 8, I'm using f of x, the formula 3x minus 16. I can go ahead and just plug 8 into that one, and I get 3 times 8 minus 16. 24 minus 16, there's a lot of eights in this problem, which is equal to eight. So I've got from the left, it's eight, and from the right, it's eight, which means that the limit overall exists. They land on the same value. Now finally, and you might already see that we've satisfied this last one, I need the function value at eight. Here it is right here this one equals eight, to be the same as the limit. Well, we saw that that limit existed and it was equal to eight. So we've satisfied all three of our conditions and we can conclude that this function is in fact continuous at eight. Next, let's do one that doesn't satisfy the conditions. Now I've got another piecewise defined function. Is this guy continuous at x equals negative two? Well, I already told you it isn't. Let's find out why. I've got to satisfy all three of these conditions, starting with is f of a defined? Well, let's go ahead and start by saying that a is equal to the point where we're analyzing continuity, and that's gonna be at negative two. So now is f of negative two defined? f of negative two. I need to use that third part of my definition when x is equal to negative two. My function value is equal to two. So is it defined? Yes, it is. So first one is satisfied. Now let's check that second condition. I want to know if the limit is x approaches a, so x approaches negative 2, if that exists. So that means that I need the limit as I'm approaching negative 2 from the left to be the same as the limit from the right. Well, if I'm on the left side of negative 2, I'm over here, less than negative 2, I'm gonna use the formula 3x plus 14. So let's go ahead and use that formula, 3x plus 14. I'm gonna plug my negative two in, three times negative two plus 14, that's negative six plus 14, which is gonna be an eight on the right-hand side. So the limit as x approaches negative two from the right. 
from the right of negative two, I'm gonna be on this side, greater than negative two. And I'm using that other formula in my piecewise function, radical x plus 66. So as I put this limit together, I can go ahead and use that square root, x plus 66. This is negative two plus 66. That's the square root of 64, which is equal to eight. So I have satisfied that second condition. The limit does exist as we're approaching negative two. However, the third condition is not satisfied. Take a look, my function value, that point was at two, but my limit is up here at eight. So we do not have continuity. And we can say that f of x is not continuous at x equals negative two. You are doing fantastic. Take a look at my other calc videos. You got this.